Catch up in the chat. Let's see. Yeah, this front row. Ever played Mahjong? Yes. It's been a long time, Jay, since I played Mahjong, though. I learned it while it was in China. Our teachers taught us on a day off. But I'll be honest in saying I forgot the rules. I'd have to get a refresher. Play not summon? Yeah, the play is a big deal. Play... It well, it's not about Rift Guardian. The summon isn't a big deal for Sakras because you typically go summon Covenant of Steel, summon Sakras, defend Covenant of Steel. The play is for Arnegad, though, and that's really clutch. That's a huge deal. Hmm. Let's see. Catch what I'm here. Like, oh, new channels. I find what you're in a bad session on YouTube. I'm glad you're loving it or liking it. Should love it. No, but I'm glad you're enjoying it so far. There's a lot more to come. I don't think you have an answer at nine. I can't imagine you have a way to kill this. I don't think I need a shield for you. Somebody else's deck? Yeah, I got nothing. So this is a play to get making a bomb. But uh, I am sitting on boiling oil here, aren't I? And they'll have to pass here, and then I will just literally focus on having a nice long round three, using things like Bloody Baron and damage to control. Oh. I did beta round running Princess so I can get a 20 point slam, but it's all good. New card art is busted. Art is insane. The art for Skellig has been on point for a long time. I actually genuinely like the art direction in the game. I know some people have had a few complaints here or there, but I think CDPR knows what they're doing and I've enjoyed what they've come up with. But it could be the crazy one. I can't believe I think Fraxis Outcast is more important, but I genuinely think it is. Rivals of Magic, I agree. Ugh, stop gurgling like that. Salutations. That's a good interaction. I didn't realize that until I looked at my hand for a second time. Let's see, Gwen uh, Cardot makes games like Storybook Brawl completely unplayable. I feel that. Storybook Brawl's weakest part is by far its art. They're working on it, but it'll never catch up. I think the Hearthstone, let alone something like this or Magic the Gathering, which is insane. And also, something of that I've come to really appreciate about having Gwent be online is there's no, like, unlike Magic the Gathering, where they have to lose part of their card, you know, lose part of the box in most cases just to text. Now, uh, in this game, you just got to have a good time. I want a long round against them. I think they're going to fill their board too quickly. And by killing... How many Homodryads have we gotten rid of? One. So as long as I murder the other Homodryad, we should be good. Yeah, I know. We are very spoiled. Double Orb? That's fine. So they didn't get the Sel Elven Seer set up yet. And there's a chance they're just going to overfill their board. As long as we murder everything in their hopes and dreams, should be fine. I also think you don't have making a bomb access. Or really any meaningful removal at this point. So we should be able to do well. Yeah, we, we're looking really good. Oh, I'm happy though. Yeah, that people. I think people have enjoyed the reception to the new channel. I'm hoping it continues to grow. Has a long way to go, but part of the journey. All right. So this hand looks really busted. Until you remember, Nighthill is five provision. I have to mull. I have to mull again. Though, at least once. I think this hand's really good. There's a lot going on in this hand. That does not surprise me. I'm gonna see support back. I wanna, I wanna see if they got. They are gonna have nature rebuke access. And this is a tough choice for them. Yeah, if they let it live, I'm going to start going really offensive. A little sad I missed on a couple things here. Okay, you have the nature's rebuke. 
That's two of them gone. Do you have a third? That's also good. Orbs are gone, so no open seer set up, which is really clutch here. Hmm. Let's see. Orbit in sight. Orbit in sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The good news here is. In knighthood. Alright, I think this is where we want to start getting some setup going. Rayla is going to be important here because we're going to start picking off young dryads. Man, new SK gold is like a much better shiny. Yeah, new SK gold's nuts, and it's great. Now I can start picking off stuff and being mean. I actually don't think you have an answer to this either. I think you have nature's rebuke in hand, that's about it. Let's go ahead and just set up the kill here. I don't even think I need siege support. And shining in the back is kind of a ticking time bomb, so at this point you pretty much have to say, look, if you have more removal, you're going to do it here. I know you're... Unless you, you, if you had lock, you would have done it on Rayla last turn. I don't think you have removal by Shani. Yeah, you're, you're a goner. I'm going to just clean this game up. So all I have to do is go... Hit, hit, hit. Hit. Going to get our next engine down, which is Ana. Now Ana lives. This feels really good. I get it that we're down. I understand that we're down on points, but right now... Our plays are really nasty. It's fine. That out of the way means something like a lock is more viable again. Do I just play Braxis back row, John? I think so. No. Yes? Well, what's AA, John? AA, my boy. What is it? I think it's Trident. I mean, is it tried in knighthood? Is that the best combo here? Or do I need to go for something like... It's got to be tried in knighthood, I think. I think I regret not mulliging the AA in retrospect. But I think I need to play you front row. I think it would be a mistake not to. Even though, obviously, it's a little bit weaker because not every hit off Knighthood's going to go here. Uh, Knighthood? Yes, yeah, Gala Goins. Let's find some Knighthood. Gotta love the Knighthood. No mercy. So there's the Seer. Getting that makes me, of course, nervous about something no else dangerous. Gotta trust the bloody baron. The earth will flow with the blood of Enche, the blood of elves. Now, all the court shall pledge their allegiance. You don't have removal left. Let's see, it's Gordon, what else? I might be forgetting something key. I'm almost regretting not playing you earlier. I don't think so though, because I can't protect you if shield wall at all. So it would have been nature rebuke and such. Okay, Fav. Talk to For the purify, purify, okay, okay. Purify, 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 that's fine. I can't stop it. I just have to trust that somehow I'm gonna be have enough points to really do this. Also, really good interaction here. There's a lot of interactions. We may not be at that point here. We could have a good fight though. Good game, maybe good game. I don't know what their last two cards are. Like at this point, they've kind of blown everything. If Jezus comes down, I'll vomit. I would, I would, I don't have, I have a good answer to Jezus at this point. Well, I haven't actually. I do have an answer to Jezus technically. I don't think it's a nature card. Well, have you seen Call to the Forest? Yeah. Okay, so I don't think it's a nature card. I don't think I have to actually panic kill anything here. 
I think you just deal two damage to something. Keep that on back row bricked in case it is Jezreus. Plus ping there. Get a little lucky, baby. Give me a little bit of luck. Okay, not too bad. Oh, yeah, there we go. I got some luck. All right, my opponent. What do we got here? I like the link for the video is good. Easy to follow. So I'm glad it's going to go in. Okay. I don't know if we win. It's going to be close. So we go Bloody Baron on back. Give you the hookup. One. Seven, you're eight. So go for the eight in the back. Got another one. G, G. Knighthood does it again. Woo! Not that break taking breaks is bad or anything. It's just that, hey, you know, if you love working, if you're waking up every day and you're excited to go grind or do your thing, you need less. And if you hate your job, you need more. And it's like a muscle. So you build it up. It takes more energy to do work you dislike than work you like. For example, I like streaming. I can do seven hours of streaming. Video editing, yeah, it's fine. I take care of it, but even though it's short, it does take a lot of energy out of me because I'm not, not the biggest fan of the video editing. This is an interesting choice. Is it not, if they spawn a bunch more drones, I think it's Knighthood and you just clean this up. All right, in that case, we're going for the uh, AA strat. What is correct play to start here? Oh, I'm sitting on the Ana, John. Okay. Do AA. Oh, uh, do I have Foltis in hand? No. So no reason to Dun Banner here. But I think I'm going to go for Drummer. Left, right, left, right. Hmm. Credit to Deck Creator. Indeed, made Brazen. No, I don't. If, so whoever creates an interesting deck does a nice job. Gotta, gotta... Giving credit where credit's due. Ana comes down. Give her a shield. At this point, you kind of have to, have to choose. You rather go to Crimson Curse. If you don't have that, you're going to use a Crackness Behemoth front row pretty soon. Probably like buff up Xavier, buff up a drone, spawn one, go. Or you have that. I think that'll do it. Now I play Black Raylo. Do you have Parasite? How much removal did you keep in your hand? That meme scoundrel. I'm just chilling. I'm chilling. Is this a meme deck? Yeah, we have a meme interaction. We got the knighthood for the trident infantry. So they, we can tell by the fact that this lived, they are bricked on the parasite. It's always a lovely thing to see. I'm a big fan of the brick on the parasite. Now I get to do some disgusting stuff so I can give something like, do I want to get rid of you? Not really. Thing. Thing. Uh, what, what's Damien Vance? I don't know what you're talking about, Dana. Somebody answer. I don't know what you, that, that is. I don't know about the lore of the names. I don't read them. Sweet. That might be wrong. That might have been the correct one because this technically opens up more spots for a behemoth. But for breaks and stuff, I think it's a muscle. I mean, I know I, I know, I like get sucked in the Gwent and then I come back up. But let me finish my thought really quick. Let's, let's spend 10 seconds on it. It's a lot like a muscle. You can build it. You can build up a bigger worth ethic. You can build up a big greater desire to push yourself. Like all that is something you can work on. And I think that's the important part. You're not locked in at whatever your current ability is. You can just keep going. Huh. I think it's kind of hard for me not to be very tempted to just go like this. Because, like, I might be... Because even with the next bleed, unless it... Yeah, I'm guaranteed if they pass, so we can just keep forcing you. I don't know how much more I'm going to go. I have another Chimera. Dang it. Not good. Xavier's saving them right now, or else Shani would be online. I think he's, I think I'm still supposed to push though. I think the moment I stop pushing, I'm really gonna be in trouble. Again and again. 
Though they can win this round. Uh, or I can get last say, anyways. Got the cross on Hensel? I have no idea what his old ability is. I have 11 in hand, so 47. At least one. 46. Do I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? I do have enough, so I think I think I do want to push for the final card if I can. What can I do for you? I'm gonna I'm literally gonna be using Shawnee here as a five point card. But if I can get their whole hand out and that turns out to be Yennefer or something, it's gonna be well worth it. Nothing really to lock here. And Black Rayla has been completely outperforming my expectations. I love having her in the deck. She is so mean. She is so mean. Got Black Rayla and Knighthood and we're cleaning up house. I'm loving it. Loving it, guys. But I'll probably do a video one of these days on the ability. Kind of use, uh, like, to build up your own work ethic and do your thing. One, I have on board right now one, two, three. You summon. Eight. One, two, three. I think I'm barely short, but I think it's okay. I'll pass. You can take the win. Looking forward to that video. Excellent, Jay. I'm glad. Sorry, it's like literally with jangled thoughts across multiple ones. Shani can res now. Nightloan, good to see you here. And yes, yes, she can. Hey, Black Rayla carried me through Thronebreaker, and I will always be grateful for it, to be honest. Good hand. I'll keep it. I don't think they're going to push this round. I think if they push the round, they lose the game. Even if Foltis ends up being my last card carrier, like Shawnee, Braxis, and on Sentry and Envoy do some dumb stuff. I did trailer as soon as I reached the mountain. She's nuts. She is nuts, Dana, but I lost Isbell and never recruited Ike. So as a result, I kind of got stuck with what I got. So whatever it took to keep my boy Gabor and my girl Rayla kicking was everything. I don't care what horrible crimes I needed to do. I had a kingdom to take back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you lose the game here. Am I am I a lunatic for thinking that? Your hand must be insane. Seven limbs, blood, and guts. They are pushing. And my hands, I think I can hold though. That's the formation here. This is a 10... Yeah. Oh, can I not? Will they get me? Do I fold this here? Maybe I fold this here. Open this gate, kneel before your king, and I shall show you mercy. Interesting. You 40. Wow, I would have yeeted that drone out ages ago if I was going to go all in here. Okay. A uh, question, guys. If I reset here, can I just grab another unit back? I mean, I guess technically four is higher than any of these one up being, but. Is that how this works? If I reset here, do I just get Shawnee back? Does anybody know? Hey, Kotor Artorias. Welcome to the Plane Talk family. I'm glad. I think it is, right? Yes. Yes. Perfect. So glad and honored that you joined us here today as we prepare for the worst that's ahead. And because giant hurricane's coming and going to kill us. Five, six, two. Okay. Really? That's the top of my deck? Garbage. Alright. Uh, welcome, Kadurotorius. I'm so glad you decided to join us here today as we uh, prepare for a hurricane that's going to take out the world. The world-ending hurricane. Welcome aboard. If you like what you see, check out the YouTube, Discord, and Twitter. And welcome, my friend, to the Plain Dog family. 
Let's see. Any suggestions besides Syndicate and Monsters? Are you trying to... What's your goal? Are you having fun, Code Doratorius? Trying to climb? Tell me more, my friend. Tell me more. Oh, okay. It was four points, either way, Android Subculture. My graveyard didn't have... It had Siege Support and Drummers in it. So, I didn't really have a good choice here. Okay. I'm gonna go for max points here. If they have Parasite, I'm gonna cry. Well, I guess it's the same amount, right? If I just go for the offensive here? No, maybe I threw that, actually. I should have gone for the four. That was my bad. If I had gone for the four, I would be. They'd be a four. It'd be a. I mean, we lose either way as long as his last card's even remotely, remotely decent. I was greedy. I am the best player of all time. Gods love me. Who cares? GG. I'm a god. Good game. I mean, I gotta find Natalis or A, right? What a weird hand. Uh, not really any engines, unfortunately. It's the big, w and we're going first, which is not ideal. And they missed Dunbanner. Wow, this hand's trash. Uh, I missed Dunbanner, it's missed Natalis, missed AA. Really rough, okay. Freedom! If we kill us, I'll be sad. Then you learn nothing. And besides, better lucky than good. You know what, Kale Thorn? I've always been lucky. It's all good. By the way, can I express my issue? Not rage because some sort of faction? Go for it, Code to Artorius. Just be, just be played about. <sighs> uh, do I have Shawnee? No, his hand's just literally the worst hand I think I've ever seen in like forever. Like, this hand's actually just garbage. Okay. I don't even know how to play this hand. Um, I'll play you. This hand's so bad. Yes, of you, man. I've revealed it. But Code to Arthurius, go ahead and complain. Tell me about probably why you hate Nilfgaard. But Syndicate could be the case these days. Maps upside down again. Care about Trident and Knighthood. No, no. I don't want to use Skull if I can avoid it. Want skull and skull kirk. Um uh -oh. the ability to go skull kirk here and then smack something is good and save a charge of Shield Wall. Because there's a lot of good things to shield wall in this deck from Black Ray to Yeah. Okay. Smoking me on the board. I'll give you that. Hang in there. Cancer's a bit strong, my friend, Kodoratorius, but tell me more. Tell me more. Alright. Well, and I do want to get ahead here, so let's just wrap this one up, shall we? Salamander, or wait, is Salamander a pet? I don't think this is either. I think this is just classic jackpot. Uh, no, sub, they won't be on there. If you go to the Discord, though, sub you, man, uh, we have a reveal channel, and people are very good about posting the reveals there. Can you show your muscle? Uh, sure, I don't really have much going for me, bud. I don't exactly have time to work out. I do walk, I walk outside to clear my head when I can. That's, uh, that's where you go. Here you go, Johnson. You guys are really thinking Salamander? Is this the MMR? Or MMR is good. This isn't, this isn't Memeville. This is people who are climbing. If the ring won't come off, just take the whole finger. If it's Salamander, I have a plan. Don't you guys worry. Is it a strategy or a measure of blank chess? All right, I'm tying your hand to the chair and takes your fingers. Are you, it's Nilfgaard you're complaining about, right? Why is there a faction blocking attacking cards? Yeah. 
I mean, honestly, code, it's because you need some, uh, you need something in the game that is interactive. Yeah, okay, it's, it's not like all Salamander, it's just one shot Salamander, but we should be really good. As long as we keep boiling oil for a czar, and then all these prints on Seas to kill the Roland, we should win this game. Higher faction under control. Yeah, my advice to you, Code to Artorias, if that looks brutal, maybe you should join them. That's what most, that's how I think a lot of people for discovering Elfgard. They say, well, I really hate this feeling. But the idea of inflicting on others, on the other hand, has some appeal. Alright, let's do it. Not a bad hand. This is mean because if they push, this is just such a big threat, to be blunt. I don't think they can too. Uh oh maybe they can because I did I did brick the Onseus. If I didn't have on Seus, I think I could win. Or even Bloody Baron. If they're gonna go for the 2 I don't think I could stop them. My lads will make sure of Do I just kill here? I can't, okay. I have to do that to avoid some type of removal. Of course, it'll be a uh, poison coming up in a second. Probably Gellert or something obnoxious. Hmm. Let's see. I think part of also the reason that Nilfgaard right now has a bad rep is because Imprisonment's become the default leader for them. I think once we move away from Imprisonment, they'll feel much more free. Yes, they'll copy your stuff, but copying and graveyard manipulation is not nearly as bad as... Deck manipulation, locking down your stuff. I think, I, yeah. Let's let's. Uh, once I think we get far away from. Sure. Do I even have? You're just brick, darn you. You are. Yeah. You're all tense. It's a little depressing. Um. Okay. I can't play you. Uh, okay. Left, right, left, right. It's super weird, but if I play Boiling Oil, I immediately lose the game. Maybe it doesn't matter, though. I blew my lock around one, didn't I? Ah, to see a fear one Thanks, day okay. mine own eyes. Maybe I'm supposed to kill there. I don't know. I think I just wanted to be defending this round as fast as I can get my engine set up. They kind of cancel each other out. They're going plus four. Oh, actually, I have a lead here. Play, I mean, we're going plus five. They're going plus four a turn. I'm going to play Nilfgaard over line pockets right now. I feel that, too. Remember, though, everything should calm down a little bit. One, two, five, three. Brutal. I still have point lead, even if they pass. Oh, I actually have a significantly point lead. Also, a good true to targets Trident, but I'm going to default this just to clean this up if I can. If they play a Zara, I'm going to cry here. No, Horse and Freak Shell. Okay. How confident are you, bud? Sure. Wow. Your engine is... You're in a jackpot, aren't you? There you go. I was like, wow, that's really weird. Spent a lot on that. Are you going to kill it? Nope. Okay. Fine. Well, back to the engine life. I don't really know how this one's going in their favor. This is, uh... Brutal. I don't I don't think this has gone according to their plans. We, I, I use, they use jackpot. I use all my shield ball in this round. Nah, Nilfgaard is by far the most popular faction. Like, yeah, you have to spend all your coins here. Your short one. So, let's see it. So, you have to play something and get two coins. Valdi will do it. But it's not like I'm just sitting here letting you stop me. Like, our engines are pretty darn good. 
Last card's poison, okay. Smart. I like that play. I know, I know it's obviously trying to stop me from being good, but that's alright. King, you, reset you, king you, go, take point lead, they have plus two on board, uh, so what are you going to do, uh, actually there's a horde four, yeah, horde four is plus two, no, you're jackpot, horde one, they have plus two right now, all right, because there's no one that we're smoking, I keep thinking they're uh, hitting cash and doing hitting cash map in my head, even though I couldn't fix that deck, I kept going, <laughs> Smoke them. We smoked them. Okay. There are still good cards in our deck. Bloody Baron, Shawnee, and Prince on Sias are insane. Siege Sports, fine. And I think I got second charge of AA. Oh, baby, am I smoke? I'm cleaning house today, guys. Uh, Knighthood is mad. Well, is Knighthood mad, John? You're mad. All right. Okay. Hold on. No, I think I keep handed. I think I do the following play. I don't have Kokodak. So if they have poison, like, it's fine. But honestly, at this point, if you have Fiztech and uh, Fiztech Trafficker in hand, like, I probably just win the round. Right? Like that? No. Feels weird, but I think what I'm trying to keep doing is bricking Caesar, so I will do whatever it takes to kill everything they play. So, I, because one of the few, like, big point slam cards I could have left in a deck is Caesar. Okay, what do you kill? That's a really interesting question. Do you need the points? You do need coins. So that's a, that's a move for coins. So I'm going to murder you, I think. Kishani has access to... Yep, there you are. I have a Marine in the Grave. Thought I did. Doc is fine. Because now we go for the Knighthood. Fire. That's right. One card apiece. The so Knighthood there, guys. To put this in visual context, is Doc plays for 12. Knighthood plays for 12. And uh, so keep that one in mind. Hit here. Grab me one Marine. Off in the back. Good game. That is clean. That is clean. GG. What's this deck? This is a really strange deck I had in mind. This is... I don't want to start this one. Oh, you know what? Try them. This is a Northern Realm boost deck designed to just crush people out of nowhere. Penitent, it. Yep, that's what I'm going for. Trying to learn high level math a lot and failed. I'm gonna do it full on, see if I can do it. Great. Give it one hour sessions 50 times, and then if you, you know, maybe add a test or something, something you'd test where you're at, but assume that the first 50 times you're gonna sit there and try and study, that you're still gonna suck at the suck at it at the end. And then after you've done it 50 times. You guys ready for this? Oh man, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> ah, fire ruin! Oh man, I was kind of hoping we get a little further than that, but okay. That's right. Look how good that was. That was so solid. Remember, they already used tactical advantage to get to this point. Now we've closed it to two. It was a 12 for five. Dross chat, how have you been? Perfect. Let's get this over. Obviously, I'm not sitting there being like, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen. But, what I like about this is, hey, you just committed Rivia. Like, we already got one of your tall removals out. And honestly, I spent nothing. And now I got Black Rayla there. The only way you can trade on provisions well here is Parasite. I have you, Natalis is bricking up. There we go. Good hit. Dead 
devotion, go. So far, so good. Notice to win this round, they had to use they had Nickers had to show up. Geralt showed up. We got we baited out the Arrakis team. We got that. I committed some provision, but remember, this is only five. Like rounds there, so you got me. Nice, Katie Beth. That's a good story on your part in terms of setting eight hours a day for six months to pass my high-level theory class in college. It reminds me of all right. Time for a bit of story time. John is a serious as Parasite. Parasite comes immediately in D Gang. I've, I've played this game enough to know roughly what other cards that will come up if I play certain things. Like, it's the obvious play. It's the play they, they have to go for. Nice. Okay. Would love to get the full to stun banner. I might not be able to. Xavier, front row. What do you remove? Oh, uh, you're going for the. Nope. I don't know what they remove. What did you remove there? You really think Tridam is? All right, well. Oh, I can't. Ah, uh, ooh. <laughs> oh, now that's an interesting proposal, isn't it, John? Do I play AA here and offer the trade AA for him? No. That's correct play, John. Now, if you decide to go, you play again, I'm going to smash down a Xavier and you shield wall to get ahead here. If you play natural selection, it's going to be the same thing on Seus on front row. Shield wall, slaughter it. All right, you lose. Okay, sweet. We shall conquer this world as I don't know if I care about Xavier. Yes, you're breaking my Shawnee. And that's what you're trying to do. I think I'd rather just get the value here. Yeah, I think I think the fact that they're pushing in this round means that I should I should be very willing to crush them, but I think it's a really big mistake on their part. Let's see. Bright Yellow and Katie Breath are, are, are talking about high level math. Let me tell you a story, guys, about hard store studying. So when I was what class was it? It was definitely in junior year of college. I do not mix words. Oh yeah, you're never gonna regret that decision. Under any circumstance. I, I can't imagine you regretting this. Well, well, well. You could put it back row, but then they'll just heat wave it. What I thought. Alright, let's go slaughter them. Uh, the cards I'm looking for right now are Dunban or Foltis. Or just honestly, Foltis up the top is what we want to draw here. No, yes, yes. You put Cohen back. I'm not. I'm still not sure how it really shakes out if I'm running Cohen, but we did really good on our draws. Let's make this happen. We we definitely outperformed on our draws. So if you're all sitting there thinking, "Wow, John, this is how it's always gonna be," no, I wish. Be nice, eh? I think you go Shawnee back row. No, yeah. Pretty sure you go Shawnee. Grab Siege support. Uh -oh. They'll counter with Crimson Curse, and then I'll probably put down the Ana of the Shield and work from there. So, Cohen, I just wanted to see if I can get a good buff off at some point by using AA to set it up. Let's talk about the story. So, when I was in uh, junior in high, or, uh, college, I had a really, really hard economics class. It was a professor that literally took zero BS. Really nice guy, but really strict. And like, you always felt like you were disappointing him. He would actually quit his job to go become a rebel in Ethiopia. Fun fact. That's right. My professor went on to become a rebel. So <laughs> you can kind of imagine the kind of uh, interesting individual this person was. Again and again. So, yeah, he, uh, he was really strict, and it sounds so ridiculous, but I'm, I'm quite dead serious. He went on to become a rebel leader, and now is, I think, a full-scale politician in Ethiopia once some peace came to the region.
don't think you go in here. I think what I need right now is Marine very badly on front row. But he had a really tough class, and I did okay. I did okay. I got like a low B, I think, in the end. Low B. B like Bravo, not D. B. But my friend was initially just a terrible student. Really, really struggled in that class. But she was very headstrong. And so she decided she was going to rock this class. And she drove my professor nuts. I mean, nuts. We were all kind of afraid of our professor, which makes sense, right? We're talking about a person who would go on to become a rebel leader and then ultimately, ultimately a politician in Ethiopia. But, what did you do? Uh, she kept pestering him over and over. And by the end of their class, she was one of the best students and had won his respect. It was very impressive. Okay, come on, Yennefer. Showing up. I know you're in the hand. There you go. Be uh, now it's just a game of Bone Talisman, but King Foltis is coming down next, and this will be good. I wonder where I was supposed to put... Nah, that should be fine. Eh. Nah. Marani, then. It's a good hand. Shani's coming up. No targets yet in the grave. Unfortunately, everything lived here. You wave there. Okay. This is more of an insurance real fast. Uh, hey, if you have, like, if your hand has Igni, it's probably double bone talisman. Maybe I got this? If it's double bone talisman, I think I'm okay. I don't, I don't think you actually have removal for this. I think I'm gonna give you... I do not know if I have this one, but we're going to put up a good fight here. Nailed it. GG. What a good start to the game. Good game. Uh, but I, I like when. So, like, if I didn't love it, I mean, if I didn't really have a strong attachment to this game, I wouldn't play it. It's obviously you play any game you stream. It shouldn't be about the money because there's just no money in streaming. Relatively speaking. Yes, you have your Pokemings, your XQCs, your Ninjas. But there's so few and far between compared to the amount of people who make money in things like opening their own restaurant, opening their own website development business or something like that. So it's fun in finance. I enjoy streaming it. I think they can use this platform for a lot of good, but very different. All the big MLO streamers are doing it. Yeah, but that's a really bad. That's all. That's more reason to not to, right? In my opinion, when I hear something like that, yeah, let's just make this life and their lives miserable, eh? I think it's all the more reason to not to. When you have a new game coming, you want to prep in advance for it. So, for example, if I... Let's say I'm preparing for the new Diablo drop. Let's say Diablo 4 is announced. It's going to be out in a year. I want to become really well-known for Diablo about a year in advance. I want to be playing a ton of Diablo. I want to be grinding away at it. I want when people think of uh, Plain Talk John, I want the only thing on their minds to be, wow, this kid is really good at Diablo. That way, when it drops, it's like, oh, even though the big popular piece and Asmongold's popping over, for example, they're going to get a lot of attention. It doesn't really matter because I, I'm already in a position where I'm pretty, pretty darn good. Uh, for something like that. Getting the old knighthood razzle. Yeah, I build it not only YouTube, but also a streaming audience. So let's say I have 100 people that watch me stream Diablo. Uh, in a year, when the Diablo 4 drops, those 100 will probably check me out. Or maybe 200 to 300. Because even though, for example, in a day, let's say I average 150 viewers. There's over 1,000 different people that will come by this stream right now. But as people go leave, some people come in. So it looks like a consistent number, but there is some churn and burn going on behind the scenes. Which can be a little harder to notice. I love knighthood. This feels so dirty. Like, look, I like both of us have committed not too much yet, but now they're gonna have to start to commit because I've started to really take a substantial point lead. 
Yeah, you wanna try a new game. IPO, someone make it big, someone. Yeah, new games are very IPO based. Like if I was gonna say right now, John, what game should you, but if I needed to play a game that wasn't Gwent, it'd be Story Brick Brawl, why? Uh, it has unique attributes that make it very good for uh, streamers. The obvious example of what's really good for streaming is, is a very low, or not for streamers, but has the opportunity to really blow up. In terms of, yeah, we're just, we can just keep pressuring this round. This round's kind of miserable for them. <laughs> there are a lot of misses here. Okay, on is pretty good. I mean, I might as well keep bleeding. My hand's trash. Right? So, like, is there any reason to not just do this? Because now, by putting Ana here, it shuts down the Tridem. You have plus two return, and now you're starting to go minus here. Yeah, we came. Sure. Vincent kills here. How many points does that end up being? Is it enough? Um, I think it's hard not to go for the actual get ahead on points here. Um, do you eye buff and keep bleeding? No, I don't think I bleed more because I have Q. It's a very minimal investment here. All the babies you play for fun first. Uh, code to Aterius. Are you talking about streaming in general? Because, yeah, like the ones from a decade ago did because streaming was new and fresh. You can't do that anymore if you want to be a big streamer. If you're not coming into the world of streaming with a new idea or a business mindset, you're just not going to succeed. That's the nature of the beast. Yeah, well, I consider that good. You know, Brathman's Vincent. Yeah, so you might have double Joachim, but honestly, at this point, I feel pretty good about our odds. I think the, that's a really danger of Joachim. These are not the hits they were looking for. They were looking for lowish point bronzes so that they don't find themselves in the position I'm about to put them in of, hey, you're a little bit far behind, aren't you, buddy? I can always use A to get the full, or if I draw full to say you can use A for done banners. But now, if you're getting into the world of streaming now and you're sitting there and saying, I want to be a streamer, great. You're going to have to work 60 plus hour weeks minimum, and you're going to have to grind for a couple of years minimum. I, I just don't think that's even a, it's not even like an opinion anymore. It's just like a really cold fact. I bet I can bait out that lock with Black Ray on the front row. They fought for round one really bad because the knighthood gave us enough points that we kind of threatened them losing on even. And then Joachim might have cost them the game, which is really bad hits. Okay. I mean, you should mulligan for Foltest, I think. You're pretty good either way, so we'll keep you. Headwinnies are worst hit. Green's fine, okay. Any card's good. Some of them. I think the direction for the designs themselves are very good, though, Code to Artorias. It's hard to say what's really OP, though, until the new patch drops. Like, when Relics came out, for example. It's a good example of a powerful set of cards. Um, when they came out... Yeah, I think, I think it's hard for me not to say this is the play. Force either the lock here or the Envo. Both of which are trading really well. Enable stuff like Shawnee to be a huge threat later. 13 SK card seems very strong, I agree. The new patch is key. Like when the relics hit, they buffed every single crone by one provision, going from eights to sevens, and that pushed that archetype hard. So the nerfs that came afterwards were strong, but think like we they really like the nerfs the relics were pulling three provision off of them and then all of a sudden it stopped. Do you not have Yenvo? Or are you trying to get a better Yenvo target? I, I thought Rayla would be a great Yenvo target. Their deck hates them. That has to feel terrible. I would feel bad on a personal level here. Funny. Uh, why am I buffing here? I don't know if they have removal. I mean, it would just surprise me for five. A lot of decks skip it because Code of Weapons can give me more copies of stuff. And you want to be devotional a lot of times. I don't even know if they need to be. They just end up being. That's pretty bad. You played your hand. Now allow me to retort. Well, I should probably play you. Oh, I think drummer's fine here. Left, right, 
buffing the Marine. It's easy to keep filling cards here, but also I don't want to buff Shawnee and tempt them for the Envo. I want to punish them for Envoing for points. Yeah, very interesting to see patches. Yeah, patches are everything. Patches really are everything in this patch. Um, we'll go ahead. I'll put this here. Love. You have status. Want to be a little careful. Five. You can cool down. Was it reset? Start a turn. Tell me it's okay. Make a red storm. Bless you, John, for still Gwent with great attitude. While other people are going breaks. Yep. That's okay. I should be your eyes, my oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna love that. My deck's pretty useful. So you're lucky to hit that Natalis. Even Boltus, it would have been worse, obviously, but I don't even sure what you do. Now, what will you do? I'm getting very curious how they're gonna handle this. Do I just play Vraxus back row? He might literally be Vraxus here. No. What do you want? Two, one, and then the turn. My last card, Sean. It will come online, and that's a huge threat. I set up a position where Skullkirk's gonna come down, kill this in a sec, shut off an engine. Should be good. Far Cross, good to see you. And ah, Far Cross, hey, welcome back. Sorry if I haven't called out everybody, by the way. I'm, I think uh, I'm getting really sucked into the game because it's getting more competitive. Give them Natalis because they obviously have God hating them. They got a boiling oil. Oh, what do you pick? There's no way that's the right choice. Because <laughs> it purifies this, you let Shawnee live? Good game. Oh, that's so funny. Shout out to Pseudoname81, Med Ali, and McRandar for all their generous support on the Patreon.